all right so good to have you guys welcome back to my channel my name is Setson. today i want to show you how we can import media into davinci resolve but before i get into that i just want to remind you to hit that subscribe button leave a like leave a comment and this is going to help our channel to grow all right so without much further ado let's jump into davinci resolve so the first thing we want to do is we want to open davinci resolve all right so once you have davinci resolve opened you see this project manager page we want to create a new project so i'll go down here and click on new project you can see this dialog box you can name it whatever you want uh, but i'll name mine importing and then i'll hit the create button create and once you hit that it's going to open davinci resolve you can see right now i'm on the cut page davinci resolve is divided into pages each page is specifically designed for a specific purpose you can see right here we have the media page which is where you want to do your imports uh, and then we have the cut page we also have the edit page fusion color fair light uh, which is uh, the audio and then last but not least we have the deliver page and so i want to go back to my media page because this is the one where you should handle your media imports it's divided into a number of sections so we have media storage up here you can see right here and we also have this window right here which is going to be where you preview your stuff before you import it into your project and then we have this section here for metadata you can also have inspect here you can also have audio right here you can also have capture as well but we're not dealing with that let's just put metadata right there we also have the master right here which is your media pool this is where you're going to import your media into your project in the media storage this is access to your hard drive on your computer so you can see the drive that i have i have c drive i also have a d drive and then i have an h drive etc i could simply go and click on one of these paths and you can see i have some media right here drag and drop and preview that let's say i want this into my project hold and drag it into this area right here which we call the media pool right there of course it's going to ask me whether i want to change the frame rate of course i might want to change so i'll hit change and there we go we have our video right here in the media pool and so if i go to the cut page you can see the video right here if i go to the edit page you can also see the video and even in fusion you can see the video if i hit on media pool you can see the, the video if i go to color again you see the video here because in each one of these pages there's a media pool section where you can also do your imports so for instance in the cut page right here i can do my imports by right clicking import media the same thing i can import this audio right here open it and then place it right there now you can see i have two media files right here but if i go back to my media page like this you can see i have that extra audio which i imported from a different page so you can do your imports in in a different page as well but why why do we have this media page right here well this is good for organization so what i'm going to do is i'm going to delete this if you don't want this you can just select all and delete and so what this allows you to do is organize your your media in some way which is going to make it easier for you to work with that footage and so what i can do is down here i can right click create a bin so i'm going to say new bin which is the overall uh, bin to hold my videos and my audio so i'm going to call this importing and once i have it you can see i have it right here so i can click on it inside that i can right click i want to create two extra bins the new bin is going to be videos one for videos and another one for audios so i'm going to say audios right here so with this done i can click on videos and then i can drag into the videos bin right here which is just a folder i can also handle audios let's say i want audios so i'll have to go to my computer right here in the c drive inside users inside setson to music now i can drag it inside the audio so i can click and drag and then on that audio name let go now you can see it has been added into the audios bin um if i go to my cut page right here you can see right here i have i'm inside my audio so importing is the folder that contains this video and audios and then master 
is the one containing the importing, which is uh, my project folder. So I can open this, I have videos and audios. Same, if you go to the edit page, you have access to this. And Fusion page, you have access to that colors and uh, Fairlight, which is your audio. So I can click on media pool and you can see I have these files right here. All right, so this media page basically allows me to organize my stuff. I can organize my footage according to some keywords. So up here, you can see on the metadata you can hit here and then clip details you can get details about your clips but you can also go to this shortened scene where you can then you can give a description about your file and then keywords about your file and then you can organize your footage according to keywords and so basically this is how you import your footage into uh, DaVinci Resolve it's quite easy and straightforward you can decide to use the media page uh, this allows you more flexibility and more organization, but you can also do it inside uh, the cut page right here. You can also do it inside the edit, same as this, the fusion, the color, or in this uh, Fairlight page where you're going to deal with your audio. Uh, but you would rather want to stick to this, uh, especially if you have a lot of footage to deal with. You want them to be organized first right here, go through your organization first, and then move on to start your editing like this. So basically that's it. If you do have any questions, leave them in the comment section. I hope this video was helpful. If you find this video helpful, consider subscribing to the channel. I hope to see you in my next video. For now I'm out. Bye-bye.